Saga Speedway was once known for roaring engines, burning rubber, and cheering fans from all around the SCB area. These days, it's still a hub for families to spend a wholesome weekend day together, but there's just one thing missing. In the corners, he can't quite get off the corner like he won't. There's some debate amongst race fans around the reason behind the shutdown. What everyone can agree on is the loss the community felt no longer having the races to look forward to every weekend. Tommy Mason spent many of his childhood Saturdays at the track. It's the place that his parents met. For him and his family, that place felt like home. Saga Speedway was such a community event. Every Saturday was your day to go see your friends and family at the racetrack. So what happened to cause the Speedway to close its doors to racing? The story accepted by most is the finances of the industry was too much to handle. And the crowds were good. They were decent. And I'm sure they they probably broke even on a Saturday night. I think people don't understand that for a lot of racetracks, they're, they are having a great day if they broke even. Although there are no longer any races, you can still find it buzzing on any given Sunday at our local swap meet. Families from the SCV and surrounding areas come out to shop, eat, and be amongst their community. That includes vendor Steve Wolf. Coming all the way from Northridge, Steve finds the journey worth it. It's a good thing for families to come to. It's very family oriented. There's some peace in knowing that these grounds are still being used to bring people closer to one another. But for race fans, it will never be quite the same. It was a place to be on a Saturday night. And again, meet up with your racing friends and family. For Canyons News, I'm Eli Kern.